Lend me your Cerberus. Saddle my black mare. Bring me my hounds of hell. He said his name was Mr. Sherlock Holmes. It all fits together. The audience are right up there. They're very close. You can, you can practically touch them. You've got that really close intimacy, that relationship between actor and audience member that you don't quite get in a traditional setting. Um, you know, they're dining on their food, we're dining off the energy that they give us. It's really, really intense to be energetic. Bring me my hounds! Quickly! Before she's lost to the fog! What do they call it, Watson? The Hound of the Baskervilles. My favourite scenes were when the actors interacted with the audience. Now, what can this tell us about The actors, they really made it like everyone was involved and they really made it dramatic. That is the great Grimpton Meyer. One for step yonder means death to man or beast. What we try to do in this production is very much bring the audience in with the actors into the same space where they imagine together the story of Sherlock Holmes and feel feel the drama, feel the horror, feel the fear, feel the excitement, the humour, the comedy and the great great thrilling adventure that changes as the hound becomes one thing and another and that's very much been our goal is to try and scare the hell out of the audience but in a way that's also fun for them but what was so exciting was the boundary between audience and actress Berrigan Sometimes the nearest person to you as an actor is the next audience member. The audience become characters in it. And it's about how they imagine and interact with the show. That brings the show to life for the actors. Dr. Watson, why, you are the very last person I should have expected to see upon the moor at this dark hour. Because I think the imagination is everything in horror. You are in time to see a tragedy. Ah, oh, yes, yes. A tragedy indeed. Mm -hmm.